Hey guys, it is Citri here again with another RuneCraft 101 tutorial for you. Today we are going to be looking at another part of automation, and um, this time specifically looking at the redstone sensor and how you can use that to activate specific things uh, in different ways. Now, the redstone sensor is a bit different from the other sensors in that it has unlimited range, uh, only within one world though. Um, which means you can't use it to send signals into the nether. Um, it also has the limitation of not being able to function on m runes that target players, like the Dispel rune, for example, or the Teleport rune. Um, that's essentially because these runes, they target a player, and when a redstone sensor activates the rune, it's not the player that's activating it, it's the redstone sensor. So, to start off with a redstone sentence, you need an iron block in the middle. You place the four signature blocks all the way around it on the four cardinal points. Then you add redstone to that. You can have any block of your choice in here. It doesn't make any difference, but it is on the wiki marked as a keystone. You right click and you activate it. And now, you can destroy any of these blocks and the redstone sensor will continue to persist until this block here is destroyed. How do you activate it? Well, any of those four redstone arms, uh, when aligned correctly, will trigger the automation, and in this particular case that is firing these phase blocks over here. More specifically, it is firing the middle one, and all of these other ones are connected to it. So, if we put these back in, what next? Well, an interesting thing is to note how you can use the redstone sensor and how you can't. Um, if I have these arms here, if I activate two of them at the same time, then the rune will, act the phase blocks will activate twice, but they won't really appear because they flicker on and off so instantly. To demonstrate that, I have over here uh, a set of more phase blocks and lock blocks, and if I just position this here, oops this stone here. You see that the torch is not moving. There we go. <laughs> the torch is a phase block as well and whenever it phases in these notes play. This another redstone sensor already set up to send to two at once. I hit this button here and it'll activate two arms. What will happen? You can hear the note blocks being triggered even though the redstone torch appears not to change. That's because it's coming off and on in an instant. Okay, so what next? What next? That's a good question. What circumstances can cause this redstone wire to trigger the redstone sensor, and which ones can? The exact circumstances in which redstone activates and doesn't activate is somewhat of a mystery to me. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. The circumstances I've noticed that it definitely will work is whenever the redstone is pointing into the central block, like how it was originally. Yeah, see now it's not working at all, but if I put one down here, it still doesn't work. And now it does work. So it is um, perplexing to me the various different possibilities for it working and not working and why those all happen to be. But like I said, if redstone is facing all four directions, like this spot here, or if redstone happens to be pointing in the way, like this one here, it will work. But alternatively, if the redstone doesn't exist on the arm or isn't pointing in, then it shouldn't work, and of course there are some strange circumstances where it will. Now as a note, you can remove the signature blocks and replace them with solid stone so that your signature isn't displayed to the world. That is wonderful for people like me who like their things hidden, and it will still work, provided that the redstone points in the way. Now, Hero Fifth uh, came up with an interesting way of making these iron blocks here, uh, the core part of the redstone sensor that causes it to explode when destroyed, uh, to be to be made out of phase blocks. So I got him to show me how that works. Show, show me this, this phase blocked redstone sensor. Getting the materials, please wait. No problem, no rush. Okay, so we're going to put that there, that's what we want. I'm going to get rid of these three, because I don't need them. Reactivate the floor so they're gone. And 
I got to get the piston. I forgot to grab the piston. And we throw a piston on there. It's a good thing, if you know where that joke's from, congrats. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't, but someone else might. Okay, I'm going to show you something first. Cool. If you might notice that the block is not there. Uh, yes. Because when I place the... The um, redstone, it flickers off. Yeah. So now it's working. Okay. So now I can get rid of this. But the the block wasn't there. Or was that's it there? Well, that's just it. If you um if you do the phase block, and you um end up putting a block on it, uh -huh. I'll get rid of this so you can see. I'll phase it in first so you can see how this works. Right. If I place the blocks on it, it should. That's no, not phasing out. What the hell? I thought it was the redstone that made it phase out. No. Well, yeah, yeah it is. There yeah. you go. So then, when you um when you place this up on top, mm -hmm. and you um place your blocks like so, if it's phased out, you just keep clicking the um. Oh, right clicking the ah I know what I was doing wrong I was having no keystone and right clicking on the iron block rather than right clicking on the uh, stone the ah. tier part the, yeah the keystone of mysterious function okay yeah. well that that's so now that problem so what are you working on here uh, I was doing a tutorial and I just filmed that whole thing and recorded you and surprise you're on camera <laughs> <laughs> Surprise indeed! <laughs> yeah, I was struggling for ideas. Now, you can do some pretty intense overlapping with the uh, information he gave there. And with standard techniques, you create it in, and that's it functioning there. And then you destroy the signature blocks, and you put in another sig set of signature blocks for the redstone sensor beside. And then when you activate them... Voila! Uh, you can't really see it, but there is gold stuff over there that would be activating, presuming that all was actually configured. But of course, there isn't anything on that signature that's working, so you can't really tell. But that would mean if you wanted to activate two separate signatures all at once, you could do something like this, and that's the four cobblestones working over there. And if we had anything to show you, then the gold ore would be functioning as well. Now, if I wanted to use the iron uh, or phase trick. There are limitations on that, and I will explain one pitfall that uh, caught myself and Hero a little off guard when we were performing little experimentations with this. I just made the wrong phase block. Okay, so back into it. To make one, uh, just do this. Cobblestone, cobblestone, redstone, 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 redstone. Just as Hero described, activate that. Activate it twice because the first one will be phasing out the thingy. And I want the signature, which I'm going to make to be four gold ore, to be around here. Just check that. Yep, the other one is overridden. It doesn't. It doesn't come into effect. And activate. Oops. Oh, of course, that's what my problem was. There we go. Okay, so that's two here. Now, one question I can't remember the answer to is what happens if I destroy this gold ore here? I can't remember. I have a nasty suspicion it will break, but for oof, demonstration purposes, if I now activate this, it activates both the gold ore and the cobblestone, which is extremely useful and cool. Now, if I wanted to have another one here, I would run into a problem, and that is because the arm of this one, it has four arms that are here, here, and here, and this one here has an arm that is here. That's why this works, because there are two arms, two inputs, that are both facing the right direction, here and here. But as soon as I make a third one here, then this one is getting two inputs. It's getting inputs from this and that one there. And oh, my phone's going. So the problem that we have here is that we can't actually have three redstone sensors directly in a row like that, or you get this interference overlap problem. So the only solution we could come up to that was to skip that and put wire down like this, and then just continue on the pattern uh, around the way or on the way depending on whichever you way you wanted now one final application of this uh, which I experimented with a while ago 
is the odd properties of the chunk that is at zero zero. On most servers, that chunk will be kept in perpetual memory, so it will always be, always be there, always be functioning. And because of that, redstone sensors will never go out of memory, and uh, that means they'll always be functioning. Uh, so that means you could quite easily have a clock or other system that was constantly transmitting things out, or you could have a receiver that would always function. Uh, but just to demonstrate this, I am going to put down a sensor, four cobblestone signature, okie dokie, so that's this uh, redstone clock, uh, sorry, redstone sensor. Uh, presumably, as long as we are within uh, 15 blocks from, uh, in the positive axis from the start, we won't have a problem. Blink on and off, there we go, so we got a successful clock here and uh, I do not know whether it is or it isn't pulsing out on the signature but the simplest way to ascertain ooh that's cool and <laughs> um, is uh, something on the correct signature so okay dokey so that is a phase block yeah there we go so we know that it is sending out signals on a uh, infrequent basis, or well, a regular but infrequent basis. So let's go to far away, near where Faith Fortress is being refitted. Okay, so where did I place? What did I enchant? I forget. What did I enchant, guys? There we go. Boom. Now, if this starts flickering on and off, then even though we are, as you can see from the debug text, like several hundred meters away, there's no way that those should still be in memory. Uh, we've got no add-ons that would ensure that, but default Minecraft behavior ensures that there is always memory in chunk zero zero. So, thank you guys for watching this r rather drawn-out tutorial about redstone sensors and automation. Hope you find it useful. If you have any more questions or suggestions, feedback, whatever, drop it in the comments below and I'll be pleased to get back to you. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers!